So Wordsworth came in on you unexpectedly. Why? Weren't you warned? No, sir. Your orders were not to let one foot out of your sight. Tonight, the police will be drawn to the east side of town. You will be able to carry out my plans in the 43rd district unmolested. You have complete details, and the time is midnight sharp. Here I go. I didn't mean to let Wentworth get away. But he's slippery. And I lost him. I'm loyal. I follow orders. I was gonna fool Steve. But... You don't believe me. You don't care what I say. All right. But I don't want what Merkel got. mentioned banks and midnight. He also said something about the octopus having maps and burglar alarms. Now that must mean maps of burglar alarm wiring systems. So Moline must have supplied the maps to the octopus. Mm. And Moline was attached to the 43rd district. Master, is that not the place to look for the hand of the octopus? That's what you and I are going to do. There are a number of banks, bond houses, and financial firms located in that district. Now we can't be too confident. Jackson, you cruise the east side and keep your eyes open for anything unusual. Nita, you cover the south end. Now, phone your reports into Jenkins. I'll be in touch with him myself. Every available man on the east side, south of River Street, explosions and water mains broken. Hello, Jenkins. Oh, Major, I was waiting for your call. Jackson reported. The curious thing is that Nita telephoned after Jackson. She says they're creating a flood in the southeast side, too. Thanks, Jenkins. It's beginning to add up now. The old army game, Ram thing. Remember that smoke screen they threw up around Johnny's place while we were trying to take him today? Looks like the same technique here. A lot of racket and nothing going on where the racket is. Maybe we're right after all. Let's take a look around to make sure. Well, I think I'd better check the burglar alarm cable. I can get to the conduit through that manhole. Just as I thought. It's cut. I'll splice it. Work fast, boys. Never mind the alarm. It's been taken care of. Good as new. Go ahead, Ram, and hurry. Back on the corner.
coming out of the building? Yes, Marshal, from the building next door. Somebody in there, search the bank. Let's go home, Ram. The bank vault was not open. It's an expensive evening for the octopus. Yes, Master. Kirk, I'm convinced the octopus knows our plans. Places that we guard are left alone, while he strikes with others. He's undoubtedly got a large and efficient organization. He's a serious menace to the commercial life of the city. But we know all that. What's on your mind? He's getting his information from someone close to us. That couldn't happen. But it is happening. Now, I suggest that we call a meeting of the heads of the organizations that are being threatened. I'll let slip some information. False, of course. And we'll see what happens. If the information does get out, what then? Then we can concentrate on a few men instead of trying to cover the whole city. All right. I'll get them together tonight. We'll have dinner in a private room at my club. Most of them belong there and... And I will arrange a tip for Mr. Octopus. Private business is being hurt in more ways than one. And it therefore becomes necessary for private concerns to take measures to protect themselves. Now, you're all in the same boat. Every move of the octopus affects each of you, either directly or indirectly. I'm going to tell you something in strict confidence. The Air Transport Company has been working secretly on a new scientific device, a very costly one, one that will vitally help combat this octopus situation. I want you all to see it, for you will benefit by it. As soon as we finish here, we will go out to the airport for a demonstration of this device. It is being kept under guard in Building C. airport like you said they would. Thanks. Goodbye. In spite of all our precautions, the information leaked out. The airport was just attacked. But the attack failed because it was expected. The enemy is repulsed for the moment, but only for the moment. What was that, huh? Come on, sir. Anyone hurt? What is that? hadn't moved, you'd have been killed. No, no, Kirk. That shot came from outside the room. Whoever did it is gone. Gentlemen, in view of what has happened tonight, I think we'll have to postpone our trip to the airport. Thank you for your time and your spirit of cooperation. Good night. Good night. Good night, Good night. Good night. One of those men is in league with the octopus. I'm going to have each one of them shadowed, day and night. Hmm. I'm hoping that the guilty man will realize that he made a bad break tonight. Perhaps this will force the octopus into a careless or desperate move that will betray him. Let's hope so. Let's call it a night. Stop by my house on the way down headquarters in the morning. Right. They will get information about us. So we ourselves will furnish him with some. I want word to get around that Steve has broken with me. You find me. It was my thought the spider will try to use Steve against me. I don't like it, sir. Your likes or dislikes do not enter into it. You will obey orders. You get busy. Talk loud and talk often. Only those in this room will know it's false. Yeah. Hi, Martin. 
outside. This is Blinky, the guy I was telling you about, you know, that took the rap for me. He said a lot on the ball, even if he don't look it. <laughs> they sprung me on bail. I gotta get enough sugar now to get the rap squashed. That'll be easy, and we won't have to worry about cops much longer. No? No. Say, you heard about Steve? Steve who? Steve Harmon. He's broken with the octopus. No. Yeah. Saber here got a direct from Steve himself. He must be tired of living. Where is he now, hiding? Huh, that's the funny part of it. If he had any sense, he would be. But he's setting up drinks in his hangout over at Brogan's. <laughs> Sounds like a farewell party to me. This is the spider speaking. Yeah? If you had broken with the octopus, it might be to our advantage to get together. I've uh, broken with the octopus, all right, but I'm not exactly crazy about you either. I know I'm in a tough spot. I know I need help. All right, I'll get together with you, but I'm taking no chances. Neither am I. No, I won't come to you. We'll meet where we both get an even break. All right, have it your own way. I know I'm liable to be gunned if I go out, but I'll have to risk it. Where'll it be? West Drive of the Park tonight at Nine Bells. I'll be there. <laughs> well, boys? The spider finally fell for it. Tonight we get him. I don't like the looks of this, sir. Neither do I. But if it's a straight tip and I'm up it, I'll never forgive myself. That's the signal. This is the great spider. I'm glad you came because there's something important I want to say to you. That was very interesting, Harmon. Got that gun. Tell your men not to move. with shadowing our suspects, I thought Nita might try to establish social contact with them. That is, if it's all right with you. Well, I'd love to help. It's all right with me. But take good care of her, Kirk. Well, I'd better if I know what's good for me. Well, we get to Gray's house. You meet with the guests and see what information you can get. Right. Now, I'm supposed to find out who his intimate friends are and how much time he spends away from home. Not fretting us, Commissioner. Speed up. Can't shake him. With us, who we are, and there isn't a turn off for miles. Make a quick stop around the next curve. Nita, you make a getaway. I lead them on. The Commissioner. You must. I promised Whitworth I'd take care of you. I don't believe these rumors. I think that they're a bold stroke on the part of the octopus. I didn't think he'd dare take Kirk. And neither's with him. The police department demoralized. The public helpless before the growing power of the octopus. The octopus. Who is he? Where are his headquarters? 
He's a clever man, but if I could get my hands on someone close to him, get him to talk, get some information that would give me a lead... Yes, but who? Steve Harmon. The octopus sent Steve after the spider. Steve must be very close to the octopus, if he isn't the octopus himself. Jackson, I want you to get a message to Steve at his hideout. Now get to him without being seen. With Commissioner Keck out of the running, a wave of hysteria is engulfing the entire city. No one can successfully oppose us now. Steve Harmon. The spider knew the setup last night was a trap. He says he'll give me another chance to get him out in the open. I'm to ride the northbound bus. He'll meet me between 8.30 and 9 o'clock near the park. He must think I'm crazy to bunk up against him again. No, you're not crazy. And you are going to meet him again. You mean I'm to let the spider get me? No. You'll be well guarded on that bus. Not to save your own worthless life, but to get the spider. Dragging it all over the town. We must get a line on Commissioner Clerk. Police Department. Hello, Richard Wentworth speaking. Any word from Commissioner Kirk? What? Oh, thanks. Find a profit, where can we start? It's like the proverbial needle in the haystack. News travels fast on the underworld grapevine. Lincoln McQuaid must get us a lead. <laughs> How you doing, Blinky? I'm murdered him. Oh. Look at that. Did I Blinky? That's me. Oh, boy. Get on your bicycle and get down here, will ya? 
<laughs> well, thanks, Larkin. You're a right guy, Blakey. You use your noodle. And that mouthpiece Larkin was okay. Yeah. So long, Martin. I'll see you later. So long. So long. Did you pick up any news, Major? Plenty. The octopus is holding Kirk, trying to disrupt the police department. Phone me to the department. Hello? Yeah, oh, Nita. Yeah. Where are you? Yes, two miles down the road from the gas station. All right, we'll be down there as quickly as possible. Goodbye. Boys, we've got to move fast. Nita knows where Kirk's being held. Jackson, get the car while I get out of this makeup. Are you all right, dear? Yes, I'm all right, Dick. Don't worry about me. Where's the place? Turn right at the next corner. is as open as that. They don't expect to raid. But we've got to get a set up of the house. Jackson, we're going back to the road. I have a plan. Nita, you stay here with Ram Singh. Here comes the car now. Get out there and flag him down. I want to borrow your car. It won't be harmed. The spider! Get out of the car and don't ask questions. Jackson, drain the radiator. Lamb, take care of this man. See that he's kept out of danger. Radiator train. Race the motor. All right, Jackson. Go to the house and get water. Look the place over and hurry back. What do you want, buddy? Can you help me, neighbor? I need some water. Uh, yeah, wait here. He's okay. 
Okay. Now all we've got to do is wait till our friend starts talking and then report to the octopus. <laughs> In the next room. Good. I'm going to try to draw them in here. I want to keep the other passage clear. Have you seen Kirk? No, but there's another room right next door. All right. Now you stay here and make them think you're still tied up. like a charm. The cops arrived just in time. Good boy, Jackson. Let's get back to town. We couldn't help it, sir. We had the spider trapped. Enough of your excuses. Wentworth's man probably knows all about our super ray gun now. He did see the men working on the gun. Oh, I thought so. Trail him. Tap his ball. Find out where he's going. But get him before he gets to the authorities with his information. Yes, sir. Our work's just begun. From what Jackson tells me and what I've seen myself, the octopus is building some sort of a ray gun. Hello. Oh, hello, Kirk. What happened to you? The spider? 
What, again? Yes, yes, leader's all right. Say, where is that place, anyhow? On Claiborne Highway, near Evans Road. He's giving Whitworth the location of the house. I'm going down to the realty board and check on that property. It might give us a lead to the octopus. Jackson will drive me down. I'll call you later. Goodbye. Realty exchange right away. Come over with us. Elevators have a safety check device on them. The car fell because the cable was cut. The inspectors don't take chances with faulty mechanisms. Well, how are we going to get out of here now? They'll lower us down in a minute. We didn't know the elevators had safety devices on them. Take an eight tail of man, Chief Master Wentford. Sahib. Boys, we have company. Keep talking. Kirk, please. What was picking? Hello, Kirk. The octopus is on the loose again. Yes, three of his men just attacked me. Oh, no, I'm all right. But send the coroner up here, will you? I'll tell you all about it later. If you want to reach me, I'll be at Blake's office at the air transport company. seem to be having your share of trouble these days, don't you? Trouble? And then some. The public's blaming those plane crashes on our neglect. And it's not neglect. Those planes are perfect when they leave the airport. Hello. Hello. Operator 81. Everything's okay. I'll stand by for orders. With my super ray gun, Every airplane firm
mysterious flashes must have something to do with those crashes. And yet, what are they? Who was the last one to receive reports from the planes before they crash? The radio operator. Let's look in on him. And he's playing in trouble now. Radio room. Send in one of the policemen at once. Don't give up, Blake. I'm going to Riverdale. Hello. Mr. Blake? Just a moment. Blake speaking. This is a warning from the archivist. Keep all your planes grounded. Otherwise, they will meet the same fate as Flight 3. Inform your friend, Richard Wentworth, that any interference on his part seriously inconvenience his fiancée, Miss Van Sloan, who is our prisoner. What's that? Hello, hello, hello. What is it? A warning to keep all planes grounded. They're holding Nita Van Sloan a prisoner. Nita? Yeah. Operator, operator, trace that call and report back to me at once. You and I have some things to talk over with this fellow. Who are you working for? Ah, you've lost your speech, huh? I'll help you get us back. What do you know about the capture of Anita Van Sloan? I don't know that either. I'll make my report through there. The captain on the line someplace. Brady, take this man to Commissioner Kirk. Tell him I want him held. Yes? Yes, operator. Oh, this from a phone booth, eh? Oh. What's that? Richard Wentworth? Yes, he's right here. To you. Hello. Uh, Nita's at 96 12th Street. Just a minute. Yes? All right, Jenkins. Thanks. I'm on my way. We've got to make sure where we want that plane to crash. will be placed about there, which means that the plane will fall about 10 miles beyond Riverdale. All right. You take the trailer with the ray gun and be careful. Make sure nobody follows you to the hideout. I've got to check up on the Van Sloan girl.
get out of this makeup. In here. Watch this door. Dick, I found out what's been happening to those planes. They're being shot down by a ray gun. I suspected as much when I heard the pilot broadcasting as he was hit. They got the gun in some kind of a trailer, and they're planning to crash the four o'clock mail plane near Riverdale. Keep that mail plane on the ground. It's going to be attacked. No, no, no. We can't stop it. No one left a minute ago. Is it going? Yes, it's already on its way. There's only one way of saving it. We've got to get to my plane at once. Get my plane ready. Yes, sir. I'm going to try to signal the mail pallet down. It's the super red gun. I've got to take that chance. Flying has its reward. Here's a part of the ray gun. Someone has removed the identifying marks. There's just a slim chance that I can trace it to the one who made it. you hope to accomplish. The solution I have here will bring out what remains of the lettering that was filed away. The name of the manufacturer is not entirely gone. The microscope should make it visible. Take a look. Uh, got something? Does that mean Mason is our man? Either that, or he'll have to account for this.
I swear it went worse. I phoned my office to have Mason picked up. I'm not quite ready to make an arrest. I want to make some measurements first. You find any calipers on the desk, Nita? No, Dick, they're not here. Oh, never mind. They're probably in the garden house. I'll send Jackson for them. Teoc the gardener, a trader. Oh, wait a minute. That's not Teoc. It's someone with a very clever disguise. I'll stop him. Oh, wait. You're not going to let him get away, are you? Yes. Just long enough to report what he's heard. But Dick, you'll warn Mason. That's just what I want him to do. Yes? That way figured out the name on that lever. And Commissioner Kirk was with him and... That'll do. Put more on. The activist wants to talk to you. Yes, sir? Take the necessary steps to prevent this clue from being followed further. You understand? I understand, sir. Hey, get those rags off. We've got a job to do. Any callers? No, sir. Oh, yes. Our boy brought a note a few minutes ago. It was marked personal, so I put it on your desk. Thanks. No choice for the system, and you won't get hurt. Operator! Operator! Get me police headquarters! Drop that phone. Get your hat, Mason. You're going with us. Guilty, Sahib. Took his own life. No, oh, no, warrior. He was shot. Look. Look there in his hand. Somebody get the police. The men who did this are still in the building. The spider must strike. But the police. No, no. Time is important. I'll get the guilty men for them. You stand by till they come. Don't let anyone out of the building. Ouch. This is the fire stick in the rim. Fire! Fire! Fire escape. Ramsey, you come with me. Why they call him a spider? 
fighter can't escape. We've got all exits covered. Follow me. Two of them went in the other room, and, oh, and then there were shots and, and a crash. Can you describe these men? Wentworth. Hello, Commissioner. This is Nathan's secretary. I know who she is, and I know who you are. You tricked me for the last time, Spider. Good heavens, Kirk, you don't still believe that, do you? It's no use bluffing, Wentworth. The spider left his mark on two men out there. He can't get out of the building, and he's not trying, because he's right here. Spider got away from us, Commissioner. He used his web rope to swing clean onto the next room. Well, that's that. But since you can't be on that roof and here at the same time. Oh, you will have to excuse me, Wentworth. This thing's driving me crazy. This sample of Chase's handwriting is the nearest to that in the death note, but obviously it's not the same. There's a distinct difference in the way the S and the Y is formed. You're right. Well, we have one more specimen of handwriting to check, and then we will have covered our list of suspects. Joseph Cranes, vice president in charge of construction of the CRNO Railroad. This is it. We don't need the machine for this. The formation of the letters is identical. Joseph Crane. Mm -hmm. It's perfect, isn't it? It's almost too perfect. You know, it could be a clever forgery. The octopus is much too smart to lay himself open to such an easy identification of his handwriting. I'm inclined to believe that the octopus deliberately forged Crane's style. But why? Well, that's quite simple. First, to divert attention from himself, and second, because he's planning an attack on Crane's interests. Let's call on Crane. more contracts for your signature, Mr. Crane. All right, Carter, let me have them. Oh, hello, Commissioner. How are you, Wentworth? Hello. Well, I hope you boys bring good news. Not so good, Crane. I'm sorry. You're under arrest. Under arrest? Well, what's the matter? What's the charge? You're suspected of being the octopus. The charge will be murder. The octopus? Are you mad? Wentworth, if this is your work, get your hat and don't talk. Anything you say may be held against you. Boy, this is ridiculous. It's an outrage. Now, Carter. See that everything is left exactly as it is. I'll be back here in an hour. All right, gentlemen, I'm ready. Of course we knew it was a forgery. Your arrest was a measure for your own protection, as well as to get a line on what move the octopus is about to make. Well, I'm certainly relieved, gentlemen. I hope I can be of help. Crane, I've just been arrested as I planned. Get the man and go at once to the construction job. He'll be joined there by runners, and we'll follow orders. Howdy, Red Rose. I've been waiting for you. It seems that none of the workmen are left on the job. Have the men watch the construction office, and you pick up all communication. Now, the octopus always opens each of his attacks with a campaign of terrorization. So far, your railroads have been unmolested. However, you should warn every one of your construction foremen. Wait a minute. The new cutoff through Green Valley was open this morning. They're going to run the first train through it tonight. Let me use your phone. Certainly. Green Valley office, Edmund speaking. Hello. Hello. Edmund speaking. This isn't Edmund. Who is this? Oh! Something's happened to the cabin. He was on the phone a moment ago and I heard the sound of a bull. Communicate with the state police. Crane, have that train stopped at once. All phone and telegraph communications are cut to the north. A radio. We can't break through. Some powerful station has the air for static. Get your squad cars up at that Green Valley job as soon as you can. Hello? Hello? strikes again? Right. Now you and Ram Singh get to the great crossing of Bolton Road and try to flag down that train. I'm going on to the construction camp at Green Valley.
pain is due now. There she comes. Wait a minute. 39 reporting. Spider just rolled through the cut. Spider just rolled through the cut. It's the spider interfering again. And for the last time, we let him get into the blast area and take him and the road together. Come on. Two men who may be a clue to the madman behind it. What about this fellow? He's Bradshaw. He works here. All right, stand over here. You know this one? Not my crew. Don't know him. I do. One of his names is Burke. Take him in the office and keep him there. Go on! Well, maybe you can help by talking. Get him in the office. I found a couple of men who may know something about the explosion. Let's see if we can make them talk. All right, men. All right, you boys, one outside. What were you doing here, Bert? Come on, talk if you want to keep out of jail. You're a two-time loser already. We can pin serious charges on you because there were lives lost in that wreck. You know what that means. I don't know nothing about the wreck. I wasn't even near it. The wreck was caused by an explosion. You were near that. I saw you. I was trying to get away from it. I didn't set it. Then who did? I don't know anything about the wreck of the blast. I was hired to guard the road and keep the people away. Who hired you? We did, pal. What about it? Stay where you are and don't move. Hold it, officer. The commissioner's here. They can't talk much now, Dick. No. Looks like the octopus has won this round. I feel that we were very close to the octopus last night. He's becoming bolder. He's bound to overstep himself soon. I doubt that we'll catch him that way. He's as clever as he is ruthless. Yes? Chase, Mr. Green to see you. Send him in. I think I have something that may interest you. 
Open that package, Commissioner. You'll find the hat and cape of the spider. It was found in the culvert last night, near the scene of the wreck. Who found it? My detectives. And uh, that isn't all they found or saw. No? What else? They saw the spider go into a culvert. They started to go in after him, but before they could enter, another man came out. The opposite end of the culvert was blocked, so there was only one entrance, the one this man used. And they recognized him. Who is he? Richard Wentworth. Strange, isn't it, Wentworth, that on several occasions you were discovered in a place from which the spider had just left? Gentlemen, an accusation against me has been implied, but not made directly. I insist on one. In fact, out of fairness to myself, I demand that you make a direct accusation. Are you willing to swear out a warrant? Oh, yes, of course. May I use your telephone to call my lawyer? Certainly. Hello, Jack. This is Wentworth speaking. Yes, yes, I'll hold the phone. I'm getting your finger tappings. Go on. Yes, yes, I'm about to be arrested. I want you to go down and make arrangements as to my bail and so on. I'm in Commissioner Kirk's office. Yes, call me back here, please. Yes, yes, Major. I got that. I'll attend to it right away. The Major's being held in Kirk's office. Get one of the cars. We're leaving at once. Kirk speaking. Yes? All right. Your lawyer says he'll meet us in Judge Condon's chambers. Gentlemen, at your service. careless of me to leave this where it could be found. It won't happen again. Catch him! Catch him! Catch him! A spider, of course. I thought you'd caught the spider, Mr. Chase. You still want to swear out that warrant against me? Of course he doesn't. I'm... I'm very sorry, Mr. Wentworth. I, it was an honest mistake, motivated sincerely by a desire to help us all. But the evidence was really very strong against you. Hmm. Strong, but circumstantial. I hope when we catch the octopus, Mr. Chase, it won't be by circumstantial evidence. Well, what is our fair lady operative to report today? Plenty. But whether it means anything or not, remains to be seen. I've been checking on our suspects, both at their homes and at their offices. And only one of them seems to be doing anything which might be considered suspicious. Which one is that? Mr. Chase. He's been receiving unknown men in conference, both at home and at his office, and holding many conversations over a private phone he recently had installed. Hmm. Kirk's having him watched by plain clothes men. I've reason to believe he's gone away several times without Kirk's men knowing. We'll have to do some checking about that. Good afternoon, Mr. Wentworth. Good afternoon. I'd like to see Mr. Chase. Please. I'll tell him you're here. He doesn't answer, but I'm sure he's somewhere in the building. Well, I'll wait if you don't mind. It worked. This looks like his new phone. Need a look. Then Mr. Chase has been kidnapped by the octopus. <laughs> It might look that way, but doesn't seem strange that he had time to write this? Then you don't believe it. I'm sorry, Mr. Chase is not in the building. Well, call the police commissioner and tell him that Mr. Chase has disappeared. Disappeared? It looks as though Blinky McQuaid will have to take up the trail from here. Carmen got his orders to grab Chase right from the octopus himself. I know that, Blinky. What'd he do with him? Gorman's holding him in that old factory on North Street. If you ask me, it's another gag to try and trap the spider. He seems to get wind of everything that goes on. 
I hope he takes the bait. Right, Blinky. You and me both. Keep your eyes open. We expect a spider. His enemies dropped him in midair by breaking the wire insulator. As the strands unraveled, the spider hurtled through space towards certain death below. on full force, sir. Good. Now the chase has been eliminated as a possible suspect, we find that our search narrows down to three men. Gray, the banker, Gordon, head of the power company, and Frank, head of the broadcasting company. Now, Gray is a very powerful man in the city. And nevertheless, we must go on the assumption that he is the octopus and let him prove that he isn't. All right, I'll note him. Ray could easily be the octopus major. He has access to the cash in his banks. Hmm. Great. What happened, Jenkins? I don't know, sir. I found him at the door. Who brought him here? No one was with him, sir. Please. 
Why, I can't. Please, please don't talk. I, I can't stand sound. The vibration. Uh. Isn't there anything we can do for him? Jenkins, call the hospital. Yes, sir. Plain the sound vibration, huh? Mm. Kill your case. Chart, please. Mm. Heartbeat rather faint. He could have a sedative to quiet him. His heart won't stand much more shock. And if sound excites him... Doctor, it's important that I talk to him. You may speak to him, but not above a whisper. This is number eight reporting. Wentworth with Gray now. He's going to question him. Air force be taken care of immediately. Keep me posted to one with movements. You wait here. After I take care of Gray, we'll tackle Wentworth. The intern gave us the whole layout. Easy, man. Go over there. Work with the man, eh? Yeah. we better grab him, Spike, and then you take him down to the chemical laboratory. Oh, buddy. Have your match? <laughs> examination to satisfy myself about this. Mind if I go along? No, no, come on. Wentworth's in the examination room, end door to the left. I heard of a case like this once, Doctor. Only it wasn't deliberate. That was caused by the sudden slamming of a door. The police ought to be here pretty soon. That must be done now. If I don't get out of it, you'll never see that guy in the turban again. Ram Singh, where is he? You'd like to know, wouldn't you? Take him down to headquarters. We'll make you talk. Doc, where's your telephone? Right over there. Hello, this is Mr. Wentworth. Will you get my house, please? Hello, Jackson. I want you to get something and bring it down to headquarters. You'll find it down in the lab. Sit down. What is this? Where'd you get that? Hmm, you seem to recognize it. It's a sound vibrating machine, like you use on gray. Let me out of here. You know, Gordon, this machine has a good many uses. It might make you talk. You can't do that to me. Oh, no, you did it to gray. Don't turn it on. I'll talk. All right. Where did they take Ram Singh? I don't know. I don't intend wasting time. Turn it off! Turn it off! Oh, no. We're going to leave you alone with it for a while. Come on, Jackson. Mr. Gorman isn't in a talkative mood. I'll tell you, turn that thing off! Where is Ram Singh? He's at 10 West 4th Street, the chemical laboratory. If you're lying, Gorman, you'll get worse than this. The police will take care of you. All right, Jackson. No doubt the house will have some of the octopuses in there, Major. I expect that. Then the spider must strike again, huh? For Ram Singh's sake. Right. What were the to discourage? But with you as the next victim he finds on his doorstep, he may stop interfering with the occupants. Hey, oh, what are we wasting time for, Trigger? Go to mug in the shower room. Sure. It'll be good for his health. Come on, we're going to give him a warm bath. Take it easy, Vic.
Warriors seems to cool off a bit. That's funny. Yeah, that's what I thought. Jackson's disappeared. Those men who escaped from the house, Sahib. Jackson's missing, and we're still up against the stone wall. Not a clue. Well, I called you all here to discuss a plan. Ramsing and I have a description of the men we think kidnapped Jackson, and... Mr. Wentworth's home. For just a minute, Mr. Kirk. Yes, Kirk, what's up? This may be a lead, though it's rather vague. The council wants me to send a squad to the bus terminal to investigate the activities the public has been complaining about. Thanks, Kirk. I'll check on it right away. The men are going to the terminal late tonight? All right. Goodbye. The boys tapped Kirk's call to Wentworth. The commissioner is sending a squad of cops to the terminal tonight to investigate. Very interesting. Commissioner Kirk's policemen will receive a warm welcome. What will we do with Jackson, sir? All of him prisoner. Round pit ticket for Lincoln Junction. Sorry, but this terminal is closed for the night. Oh, well, you're not supposed to close until... You heard what he said. They're out. Who are you? What's the meaning of this? If you're going to get out or do I have to throw you out? I have heard about the things that go on in this terminal. Now I'm sure of it. Now that you are sure, get out while you're still healthy. I'll report this to the police. All right, you guys. You've got your instructions.
and he upset our plans. Spider. Boss ain't gonna like that. Come on inside. Turn that car around. I might have to get out of here in a hurry. First, the spider busts up the terminal party. Then when we go after the newspaper, he knocks us over. Between the spider and Wentworth, the octopus is fighting tough arms. Wentworth won't bother us. We got his man Jackson with a shot of that firecracker poison. The boss is holding him prisoner someplace. Why, that guy's been unconscious for hours. I gotta get out of here. Where are you going? <laughs> oh, I got orders to report the waterworks on 16th Street to get the layout. The waterworks? Yeah. Octopus has given orders to blow up the works and cut off the water supply. Hmm. Maybe I'd better report to the octopus and get my orders. I'm sure. How did he get in there? I don't know, sir. Nobody saw him come in. Then I must assume that he heard too much. Report to me immediately. This forces my hand for the moment. I must work fast. I am going to see that Mr. Wentworth does not escape this time. I'll use two stones to kill one bird. What is the antidote to Jackson?
I'm all right. Tie up that man. Jenkins. Jenkins, how did they get in here? Uh, what happened? That's what I'm trying to find out. Hi, son, Jackson. That doesn't sound like Jackson. He'd never asked me to stop fighting crime for his sake. Wait a minute. Hmm. That's not Jackson's regular style. It's written with his left hand. He's warning me to stay away. It's a trap with Jackson as the bait. Well, we know he's alive, though we don't know for how long. I'll get an antidote ready. He may be in a coma when we find him. Put a drop of that snake poison on a slide, will you? Don't! Don't touch that. Why not? There's high explosive in those tubes. Uh, we put them there. <laughs> Ram, phone Kirk and tell him to pick up these men. I'll be down in his office soon. Cheers, Jenkins. I'm right. <coughs> if I'm right, this will do the trick. <coughs> I've got it. Now I remember that white paper. I saw it used in Rangoon. The poison of the root was cobra. Snake poison, but how? Huh? Well, this particular cobra doesn't bite its victims. It sprays its poison in a paper. But nothing sprayed this poison, sir. Ah, you're wrong there. The explosion of the firecracker released the gas from a grass vial and sprayed it in areas as far as 12 feet. Hope I can get to Jackson in time to administer this antidote. Commissioner says he'll take care of these men immediately, Sahib. Good. If Nita phones, tell her I'll contact her soon. I'll be at Kirk's office. Commissioner Kirk's office calling. Mr. Wentworth asked me to call and ask you if you can come down to headquarters immediately. We'll have a taxi call for you. Certainly, I'll be ready in a minute. Thank you. Hello? Oh, hello, Mom Sahib. Mr. Wentworth just phoned Ram Singh. I'm to meet him at Commissioner Kirk's office. Are there any messages for him? No, no other messages. Goodbye, Mom Sahib. Goodbye. Miss Van Sloan? Yes. Did Mr. Wentworth send you here? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Let's go! Brings you gentlemen here so early this morning. Well, we all received quite a scare from that bus terminal business. Undoubtedly the octopus again. I understand that the spider did a good job in helping to prevent the massacre of the policemen. Hmm. Newspapers make a hero of him. I'm inclined to agree with the newspapers. As far as the police are concerned, he's still an outlaw. Have you had any word about Jackson? Yes. Uh, where is Jackson? And uh, what about that note from him? Oh, yes. I was just going to tell you about that. I don't know how Jackson got this to me, but I'm going to follow through on it at once. I'm sure with the fine work the police have done, it won't be hard to find Jackson. I have a conference in a half hour, gentlemen. I must be at my desk. You're making progress. Keep up the good work. Commissioner, if I can be of any further help, why, please let me know. Cook, I didn't want to scare those men, but I found out there's going to be an attempt to blow up the city's waterworks tonight. The waterworks? Yes, and that note from Jackson is a trap. But you said you were going to follow through on it. I am. It's the only lead I have. But you can't do it alone. Let me send my men. No, it may be an attempt to draw us away from the waterworks. You've got to detail men to cover those areas. And besides, a raid on the place where they're holding Jackson would be too obvious. In working alone, Kirk, I have one advantage. The octopus doesn't know I'm aware of his trap. I shall step into it deliberately. 
But prepared. I'll send a squad of men to each water plant immediately. Good. I'll see you later. Wordsworth is going to try to rescue Jackson, led on by my note. One of you will be disguised as Jackson. And when Wentworth arrives, we will be ready for him. This time, Richard Wentworth does not escape. Jackson, hello, sir. Has Nita called? Yes, Sahib. She said she was going to meet you at headquarters, that you had called her. At headquarters? I didn't call. There's no answer. They've got Jackson and Nita now. The spider must strike. Even though he steps into the trap of the octopus. As the prophet saith, it taketh more than honey to catch the bee. Wait here until I call. Ram, come with me. We can make the old gladstone house by dusk. Now listen, everybody. Wentworth will be here any minute. And you, remember, you're supposed to be Jackson stretched out on that couch. Hurry, Ram Singh, step on it. You men stay in guard outside the house to make it look better when one bridge gets here. And don't try to shoot it out with him, because he's too fast on the drawer. Let him get into the house. The minute he gets over to that couch, we'll have him. of the capture of Nita Van Sloan and Jackson disguised himself as the spider and went to the house where his aides were held captive. The spider made a stealthy entrance into a dimly lighted room. There he saw a man whom he took to be Jackson lying on a couch. Rushing towards him, the spider stepped on a trap door and was pitched headlong into the basement. torture us from now till doomsday and you get nothing out of us. May interest you both to know that Richard Wentworth has already walked into a trap. The mark of the spider. Let Wentworth escape. Wentworth did not come. The spider came. The spider seems to hover over Wentworth like a guardian angel. But neither of them will escape me. What are the men you took with you? The dead, the spider. Your failure isn't lessened by the fact that it was the spider who escaped you. You are dismissed. No, not that way. Through that door. my hand on the man who calls himself the octopus. He was in the commissioner's office this morning and he overplayed his hand. But I've got to face him in his lair. Catch him in the character of the octopus. You know the octopus? I think I do. Well, why don't we go get it? First, because an arrest at this time would seal the death warrant of Nita and Jackson. Second, because I need absolute proof. Now, it might be found in the man's office. And Blinky McQuaid is just the fellow to look for it. Can't see very well. Okay, here we go, Blinky.
me, sir, but why would a man lock a bulb like that in his safe? Well, this is no ordinary bulb, Jenkins. This is what is known as a deflection tube, designed for specialized radios. There are very few of them in use, and they have to be installed by an expert. I'm waiting now for Wilson of General Radio to call and give me some information. The Sahib might test out the television set that was installed on the telephone today. Yeah, that's an idea. Wilson should have something by now. I'll call him. Hello, Mr. Wentworth. Yes, Wilson. What have you got for me? We've only installed three tube sets in the city. Only three installed in the city, huh? And there's a special installation at 413 First Avenue on the sixth floor, some kind of a private technical school. 413 First Avenue. You installed it there? Yes, months ago. All right, thanks, old man. You're welcome. Good night. Good night. I want to speak to Richard Wentworth. This is the Octopus. This is Richard Wentworth speaking. I'm delivering my final warning. Any further interference on your part will jeopardize the lives of my prisoners. You seem to have no fear of phoning me. Fear? Of you? That you should have fear of me? Very courageous, Mr. Octopus. This calls for a personal visit to you. You'll have to know me first to find me. And don't forget my prisoners. Light. Find him, Master? There's a chance. He spoke from some place that's within the radius of a mile from here. Get me the map of the city. I'll draw a circle with a radius of one mile using our place as a center. Uh-huh. Well, your line cuts the intersection of First Avenue and Fourth Street. Right. That must be the place where Wilson said the tube was installed. Then let us attack, Master. Steady, warrior. We've got to look the place over and plan our action. Wait, Ram. The octopus won't leave the place unguarded. The man on the door is probably a lookout. You go in, Sahib. I'll take care of him. Have it quietly, warrior. There must be no alarm. Wait here, Jenkins. Here. There's a complete wing of the building that seems to have no entrance. Then that's where the beast hides, Sahib. We must get to him if we have to break through solid walls. I have a better idea than that. Let's get back to the car. Get me some smoke pots, Jenkins. Yes. Lamb, come on.
yourself on numerous occasions. I must have been blind not to know you sooner, but when you mentioned that note in Commissioner Kirk's office, you disclosed knowledge that only the octopus could have. So you are Richard Wentworth. Too late for that knowledge to be of any value to you now. It's never too late. Nothing can change my destiny. out of here quickly and remember you know nothing of what happened yes sir hello Kirk what's up the spider's in the building he's somewhere upstairs say what are you doing here well, I phoned your office and they told me come on all right all right don't touch anything man there's no doubt that this is the den of the octopus you're right Wentworth and that must be the fiend himself Chase. So that's why the spider came here. It's odd, Wentworth, that you always appear where the spider has left his mark. I'll grant you that, Kirk. But you'll have to admit that the spider did us both a good turn today. Now, this time I really mean it, Nita. We're going to get started on a honeymoon today. Then the spider is dead? No, not dead. Shall we say, just uh, retired for the time being? I hope it's a permanent retirement. 